Hi everybody, uh, this is Jack Starr and Ned Maloney. We're from the band Burning Star, but today we're not going to talk about Burning Star. We're going to talk about an album that we did a long, long time ago. How long was that? Uh, 30 years and counting. 30 years? Oh my God. I mean, <laughs> I know you for 30 years. Hard to believe, yes. Amazing. But anyway, yeah, the album is right here. It's called Out of the Darkness. It's a great album that featured a lot of great players like Red Forrester. Uh, Who else is on that album? Uh, Carl Kennedy. Uh, Carl Kennedy. The, the famed producer of the era. Yeah, that's right. I mean, and, uh, uh, Gary Bordenero, both of the Rods. Yeah, I think you know something about Gary. Yep, Gary's a fantastic bass player. Absolutely. And, uh, and to top it all off, we had Red Forrester singing. So that was like really incredible. Um, what I want to really say about the album is that we're happy that it's coming back out. It's got a 16-page booklet. Everything's been remastered, digital sound, six bonus tracks, uh, and the cover. Let's talk about this cover for a second. This is not going to be the cover that you're going to see when it's available. You're going to see a painting of myself and Rhett, and it's really the cover that it should have had, because this really wasn't not a heavy metal looking album cover. And, uh, 30 years later, we've corrected that mistake. Yep, and uh, it's backed by popular demand. Uh, you know, this album's been reissued numerous times. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, the other thing I want to say is just how happy we are with the support we've gotten from the fans in Europe. I mean, already it's in the top 30 on Amazon. And um, so we want to say uh, to our European friends, uh, bonjour, hola, wie geht's? Um, I don't know how to the say rest it. Of you, cheers. Cheers. That, that's the best <laughs> one yet. Cheers. And we want to thank you for your, all your support. And uh, go out and buy this album because it is a great album. And uh, the reissue is better than the original. Yep. And, and there's plenty to look at there with the, you know, the nice package they put together. Yeah, absolutely. And um, we're happy that we're still here and that we're still rocking. So just keep the metal burning and. Uh, when you buy this album, we do have one little instruction, a little favor that we ask of you. Please crank it loud. Would you say that that was the correct, uh, uh, you know, there's no other way to listen to it? No, there's no other way. You got to crank it up. And, uh, and I will say one thing. We made this album loud. A lot of albums today are made in little bedroom studios and they're done with virtual amps and virtual drum machines and everything. It's kind of fake. This album was recorded with loud Marshall amps. You were, I don't know, you had a wall of bass amps. Uh, Carl Kennedy had this mammoth steel drum set. I don't even know what it was. Do you, do you know what, what it was? I know it was loud. <laughs> <laughs> it was loud. And to top it all off, the drums were recorded in a ballroom. So when you, when you guys go out and buy this album, you'll see pictures and you'll get the idea that we were not fooling around. We speaking made it of, loud. Speaking of drums, we, we can't forget uh, who the legendary drummer that appeared besides Carl. I think you're talking about Gary Driscoll, right? That's correct. Of, of Rainbow fame. Yeah, absolutely. And Elf, let's not forget that. Absolutely, yeah, with Ronnie James Dio. And that yes. was just such an honor to have uh, Gary you know, Driscoll play on the album, and the guys in the rod, and Red Forrester. I mean, it was really a home run. And that's why 30 years later, I think we're sitting here having a beer and talking about an album because there are people that give a damn about it. And to you, all those people, we want to have a toast. So cheers. Cheers, cheers. Ned. Good job, mate. We'll see you in Europe. Yeah.